If you find yourself in a place of prayerlessness, you have to, first of all, admit it for what it is. Not a weakness, but a sin. And repent of it, first of all. And unless we repent of our shortcoming, God can't deal with the root problem. And after you've prayed and asked God for forgiveness by repenting for prayerlessness, then I would say, start with taking the first step. The first step is, just do it. Just do it. That's all it takes to begin praying, yeah? Don't look for the sky to align, the stars to come in alignment for you to be able to see and do and start something. No, you can start praying today. Just do it. You can go today and say, I'm going to take 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and I'm going to get into my room because Jesus said, when you pray, go into your room, shut the door and pray to the Father. When you pray to the Father with a shut door, Jesus says, that's a great way for you to pray. And if you can just do it today, that would be your first step in this incredible journey of discovering a personal God, a God who is available to you on a personal level. He is not a God who is distant. He's not a God who needs to be connected with through someone else. No, He's available for every single one. And this is what sets our faith apart from every other belief on planet Earth. You don't have to depend on someone else to hear the voice of God. He is speaking to us on a daily basis through His Word. He is able to speak to you clearly in a way that you know that God is saying this to me. It doesn't have to be a distant dream. This is my prayer and my burden, that there will be a love that will be birthed in us where we hear God's voice for ourselves, where God begins to speak to us through the Word, where you're beginning to walk in His ways by walking with Him intimately through prayer. But it starts with the act of just doing it. It doesn't matter how long, how short, because Jesus also clarified that too. He said, I'm not impressed with all the babbling and repetition of all those words. That's not what I'm concerned about. What I'm concerned about is you speaking to me from the heart. That's what Jesus said. And your prayer can be the most genuine. All it needed to be is three phrases that you can sit in your room by yourself and look up to him and say, God, I don't know how to do this. I don't know where to begin, but I'm going to begin right now. Would you please hear my prayer? That's it. Your first prayer done. And you open the Bible and you begin reading a passage of Scripture. And after you read that Scripture, you say, Lord, whatever I've read, please let it feed my inner man. Let me grow strong in you. Second prayer done. You're already becoming a prayer warrior.